Welcome back, friends. Our final matchup of the day and of the stage is about to begin. Team BDS versus Team Secret, and it cannot get simpler than this. If you are a G2 fan and you've been high on your own supply of copium for the past however many months, it has been six months at this point through this entire stage, you are the biggest Team Secret fan out there because should Secret gain a singular round, one, G2 Esports are confirmed for the Berlin Major. I can't believe I'm saying it, <laughs> which means we'll have blue hair and pink hair at the Major. No, actually, he said he's not going to do it. Yeah. He said he's going to flake out. Yeah. But he said instead he's going to donate five grand to charity because he's going to flake out a pink hair. <laughs> I, you? I am an immigrant. No, I didn't Could say you that please either. donate to my charity? <laughs> no, I was about to say that for five, five grand Swedish. It's, yeah. Anyway, we, that's not a lot. Back to you, Jack. Right, Zimbabwe dollars. Sorry, Milan. I'll stretch that far. <laughs> You're always known for your generosity. And speaking of generosity, secret. They might be very generous today for G2. Like I was saying, one round is needed. So let's talk about BDS first and then what Secret can offer. What do you think about the French squad? They could be the second one to join forces with the Wolves, Fabian. Yeah, they've been up and down um, quite clearly. And I, even if they were winning in the beginning of the stage, I don't think that they looked that great while no. winning. So today is going to really be a show if they can push through. I, I mean, one round for Team Secret, BDS can show up well, but if they're going to be that good. The problem that they've been having is they look disjointed from each other, and they've been very heavily reliant on Shaiko kind of getting the support work to go in, frag out, and then build from what Shaiko has fragged, mm. rather than having any sort of team approach to the thing. If we look at Rogue, for example, that we just watched playing, they didn't have a great game, but the entire stage we've seen a Rogue team and a Wolves team that's been 3-2-1, now we go. Yeah. BDS have been 3-2-1, and then one goes, two goes, three goes, and, the and, and then and the other guys, wins uh, the round. Or Shaiko. Uh, th those two have been standing out, and it, it's not good enough for them. Seven rounds in a row? Highly unlikely. Secret on the other side, uh, fresh. Yes. You've known this team very, very well. You know them very well. I do. This day. Can they do it with Kenny, the Lurk Master Flex? And look, Secret are not out to do any G2 favors right now. They're not. Secret are out for Secret. They need, having seen Navi pick up points today, having seen Pones pick up points today, Secret needs to pick up points today, regardless of what happens with G2. It's not been a great stage from them. They've managed to get three wins. Couple of good wins. They're in a. I'd say the past couple of weeks are in a reasonably good run of form, and they've found their way of playing, and somewhat have looked decent, apart from the G2 game where they pretty much imploded. Um, so secret for themselves, mainly, are going to want to get these rounds over the line and pick up points against BDS. There's an opportunity today for them to pick up points against BDS, which keeps them in that race in the relegation. Keeps them, you know, they won't overtake Navi today because Navi picked up points, but it keeps them very close to Navi going into stage three. Not only that, but, but right now, Team Secret is the bottom team of this stage as well. So they're, they're having a rough time. They need all the points, as you say. They're just going to play for three, not for one round. Yeah. Our map then for this series. This will play a big part in this matchup. And it's Café Dostoevsky. Secret will decide on that map. Taking away theme park just before. Attacking side start BDS on the defense. Jack? Um, so it looks pretty... Uh, when I, I do the preferences, one stand of both teams. When a map comes out in the top three, top four of both teams, we usually go to it. Cafe is that map. Both teams like it. And essentially, it's just a, you know, there's not too much strategy when both teams want to go to a map. Mm -hmm. If both teams say, we're not banning it, so might be going to. I know that I've just explained how a map ban phase works, right? But it literally is that simple when teams like maps. And when they both like the same map, that's what you get. Yeah, it's not a surprise, I don't think, to anyone. No. Uh, BDS have always liked it. Last time that I remember watching, I don't, I don't know if they've played another time since then, they just couldn't win a single attack. It was the heroic game BDS played. They won one when Shaiko aced. Yes. And that's it. Yes. So <laughs> we're looking at the team secret that's struggling against the team B uh, BDS that's struggling. 
I think Seeker will take a round, but <laughs> if they're going to take much more, it's hard to say, especially starting attack. Yeah, that'll be the biggest question out of them all, though. Fabian French, thank you very much. It's time for us to kick this game off and toss it to our casters. Ace of Pirate and Hap, enjoy. Thank you, Milos. And yes, one round for Secret to make sure that G2 are confirmed, but that's not their fight. Their fight is within the relegations, and they'll do whatever it takes to make sure that they are going to be able to pick up as many points as they see fit. Now, BDS is portrayed earlier by the graphics made by Sprabuni and Wrath. Big shout out to them, by the way, for all the percentages they've done for not just the European League, but other regions as well. Make sure to follow them. 7-0 um, is what BDS currently need to qualify for Berlin. Simple as that. It's as simple as that. Just simple as that. Happens. No bumps. mistakes can be made by BDS. They need to come in. They need to win every single round. And that will see them, and only that, will see them through to Berlin. Now, let's get it right. Team Secret, they don't care about G2. They don't care about BDS. They don't care who goes to the major. They're just looking for as many rounds, as many points as they can get, because they might need them come the end of the year. So the bands, they start to rain in. We're going to have Ying, we're going to have Thatcher. Uh, that is going to kick us off. And the question on everybody's lips coming into this is how long is it going to take for us to see that team secret round that answers all the questions. I love it when the major qualification comes down to the very last game of the stage. It's like we, we need to see every bit of EUL to know who's going, and I love it. That's it. And what if it comes down to literally seven rounds where BDS could be going up six to zero, and then the side swap, that first round, everything coming down to that. I mean, it's almost it's it's almost destined to happen, isn't it? It, it almost is because we never thought Jeezy was going to be able to find themselves in a position like this. They went from four percent to ninety nine, which is the course of four five play days. And now we find ourselves here at the do or die moment. Doki in the hands of his teammates, step more his ex teammates really saves Kendrew. There's a bit of banter going on on the TL, but you dropped us before. Will we drop you now for the major? Question mark. Of course, they said afterwards. It's the relegation fight we're after. It's, it's, we don't want to intervene with the major. It is all about their own fight, their own struggles that they try and overcome. And that's something important to mention because both fans of BDS and, and G2 will be watching this game knowing exactly what's at stake. Oh, two drones. Three drones? Mm, yeah, no, no. Three the drones? The knife's not... Yeah. Oh, question oh, mark. I got Three it. drones. <laughs> there we go. Round number one, then. We're going to get underway. BDS are going to be taking us to a reading room for their first defensive site here on Cafe. No big surprise. I have lamented at length before now um, about the... Uh, the difficulties in holding down that top floor that a lot of the European teams have. It's generally a 50-50 win rate at absolute best. Um, we're having a little bit of early aggression coming out of BDS. We've got Renshiro just on the Azami looking to get the peak out of Piano. Not going to find anybody um, from the market spawn. And then Secret there stacking up on the north side of the building looking to get themselves up to the rooftop safely. They've got saves on the Nomad as well so that's just going to help cut off the flanks. Always important here on Cafe because um, there's a number of staircases that you need to deal with. Shaco close in wedding. He's aiming to go for maybe a jump out. Now the pings are coming through. Don't know exactly where he is. He's rotating back up though. Up the red stairs he goes. The hatch does get opened up, and now there's not really a way out. Luckily, he does have some impact, so could be using them to push himself into a bit of a different position. But the slab and goes for a bit of a chase. This could be on for the entry of this entire game. Who will die first? Is it Shaco? who, I'm going to say it again, is on his way to 106 kills in this game. And he will be reaching it up against Team Secret. We've seen a few players fall short of the 100 mark so far tonight. And we've seen a few make it as well. The particularly impressive part for Shaiko, and that's number one of six, is that it will be his sixth season in a row, if I'm not mistaken. Even sixth seventh, stage, maybe. Is it seventh, possibly? I think it might be seventh. Um, he's certainly got a few of them under his belt, and nobody else comes near. And I mean that internationally. Nobody in NA, LATAM, or anybody else comes near, I don't think, to that sort of consecutive record. So Shaiko, um, I'm sure it 
won't be in his mind. There's only one score that will be in his mind, and that's going to be 7-0. He's got the opener, taking Sleben down. Big start with the Finker off the board. Um, Team Secret continuing their attack. Yeah, so BDS now trying to still keep themselves equally distributed over the top and middle floors here. Openings are being made by Secret Dolls. Trying to find themselves a way in to go for a plan, and Shaku goes even more aggressive. Deals a lot of damage down onto Kendra, but he's being challenged from the pillars as well, so decides to relocate. Find himself in a bit of safety here as these gas canisters being tossed out to keep the rest of Secret at bay. The White Stairs have been denied, and with that point of pressure has fallen for BDS. Kendra is also on super low health here. Going to be very difficult for Team Secret to get anything going in this game. Uh, you know, when we're looking in terms of one right, oh, beautiful from Savage there. Just spray across with the LMG, manages to catch the head of Breedy, four versus three. It's still possible for Team Secret here. 30 seconds left to go. That's not going to help as Alems takes what was left of Kendrew's life. Shaco manages to get a second onto Savage. Four kills left for him to go. And that is going to leave us now in a four versus one save. He drops down. It's going to take a bit of damage as he does. They all know exactly where he is. Surely a matter of time. He manages to find Alems. Can he find himself Shaco? He's looking to challenge from wheel room. He's onto the pistol, just trying to find his kill. And he will first shot and that's going to be Shaco <laughs> on a 3k round one of seven for BDS I mean Brede, Lebs and Shaco all smiling about that one just finishing it off with a pistol there and he's on for one three kills already on the board he's trying to chase uh, Spoit for that top spot in the league Blue Spoit in the end was something about 110 kills total let me just quickly find out just so we can see who is going to be the top figure at the end of this game, potentially. But Team Secret, not too shabby first attempt, but not really getting into an opportunity to. I mean, like some individual pushes being shut down didn't really help, but they had a good idea, especially on Shaiko in the early round, just weren't able to capitalize on it. That's round number one, BDS. Round number two is going to see them defending down on the bottom floor. Team Secret not even really kind of close in that last round, um, but of course it was the first choice site for BDS. The bigger challenges are going to come as this one progresses. Um, as you said, Hap, it's one of those situations that we sort of joke about now, but I wouldn't be surprised at all if it happened, and that would be the 6-0 half and coming into that seventh round um, after the split. I'm sure it would be nail-biting for the G2 players and fans that will no doubt be watching from home. Will be, I think uh, Team Secret might have gained a few tens of thousands of extra fans for this one, Hap. They definitely did. I think there's a lot of G2 Army fans currently cheering for them here. And as the Twitch drone gets taken out, unfortunately, no utility taken care of. Second one will get rid of the default cam, but it's not really the utility you're trying to hunt with those Twitch drones. You want ADSs, you want maybe other piece of utility like magnets, like Mew Gemmers, maybe even a pre placed smoke canister or C4. But none of those found so far. Slabum potentially going to go in through that bar window. Uh, needs to be careful because there is the bulletproof camera there that's going to feed his information if he pushes too far. EMP Blast just going to take out the drone and then the bullets um, will finish that off, I think. Shaiko looking to find it. Just going to do the little Oryx dash, keep himself out of dodge, get himself into court check. A minute into the round, Team Secret not managing to get themselves established inside of the map yet. There's no real attempt to take any top floor control from them here. They're not looking to get themselves in and open up those vertical angles as we would often see for Kitchen. They don't have the sledge on side, so it's going to be all horizontal pressure, most likely. Now, there is going to be some Xcaras that get tossed out. A C4 will follow. That's the entry from Keenan. A very sharp shot coming through. When Shira's trying to go on a bit of a more passive angle right here, receiving some damage. Shaka will find one. Kendry finds two in response. And now it's only up to Breedae and Rafal if they want to keep the Major Dream alive. One is pushing through prep. The kill comes through, but it's only up to Breedae now. He clutched before many, many times, but he won't this time. And with that, Secret will be confirming G2 for the Major in Berlin. That is it. Job done. It took two rounds for Secret to get one, and BDS hearts are broken in terms of their qualification, but they'll still be playing hard for the win here. They need to be locking in as many points as possible. They certainly don't want to find after a bad stage another bad one to follow in stage three, and them getting pulled into a relegation quagmire at the bottom of the table. So BDS, they'll be looking, I'm certain, to continue on and get this win. There is, of course, the smaller matter 
a much smaller matter of the 100 kill mark for Shaco yep. as well. Got himself another one in that round. So two to go, and that will at least be one milestone surpassed in this game. Now, I believe Spoid got a total of 109 kills. He's currently leading the boards with that. Users coming in second on 105. And after that, we have Emission on 102. And Benja actually reaching the 100 mark. So with that, Shaiko has the opportunity to become the fifth. But I think... We've got a little surprise we have a little for surprise. you. We've got a little surprise for you, given that... Uh, the, the major positions are now locked in. I won't yeah. say this yeah, game yeah, doesn't yeah. mean anything. Of course, it means something. They all mean something. Uh, but we thought we'd take this opportunity to do something a little different, and we've got a few people joining us. Yeah, so, you know, normally you have one color caster with a play-by-play, -play, but I'm going to up you by three. What about four color casters? Four color casters and, a, and me as the play-by-play. -play. Can you handle yeah, four? I'm somewhat swamped. Can you handle four? I'm going to have to try. Okay, How so... How many can you handle? Milos <laughs> on the cast, everybody! <laughs> Let's go! But don't, don't forget, don't forget, we also have Jack. Woo! And... I'll celebrate myself. Fabian joining us for the very first what time. What an experience. But he hasn't said anything yet, and I think he's only going to be coming in with, like, some killer line at one point or another, because... We'll all be dead by then, yes. He said he's going to he make sounds. He's going to go, ooh. He said he's, ah, he's going to be the live that crowd. You. That was me, but Fabian's going to do it instead. Oh, I can't believe it, Des. We're going to have Milos doing ace impressions throughout. <laughs> Keenan is peeking onto reading door. They know that there's somebody in there, and it's going to be Sleben who manages to take down Lems as he tries to rotate out to the white stairs. And that is Team Secret undergoing a pretty good clearance of that mid floor. Yeah, it was pretty good, but now you have to actually drop in. Look at Shaiko, he's so low on health, he's got to fall back. A nade coming in now from Sleben. Hits. No. Shaiko's too far off in Humidor, as they say. Now, 1 minute 40 left on that clock. Slevin trying to get some more grenades in from below. That might actually net a kill to Shaiko there. No, the hatch does get opened Ow. up, though. He somehow he survives. Didn't take a single point of damage there. And Slevin just has no clue he's there. Shaiko could just drop on him and take him out as a result. He's thinking about it. He certainly wants to drop. Slevin's underneath and needs to be very careful here. I'm not sure how much attention he's paying to that hatch at the minute, but Shaiko is just going to hold his position. In oh, there he goes. He's dropped. He's looking for his man. He's trying to find that kill. Shaiko just roaming around underneath. He's in wheel room. He could get one. He sprays him down, but no. Taken out by Slevin. Five versus three. One minute left to go. Secret have taken their sweet time here. They've got taken two minutes, but they've got a 5v3 scenario. Their attack is only just starting to take shape now. It actually looks like they're going to rotate outside of the building, potentially even look to go in the east side as we've seen a player on Repel as Renshiro finds one back. Grenade be caught off by an ADS there. Renshiro trying to rotate in. Oh. His Redata gets caught off by Ooh. Kendrew. Rafal on these white stairs in a crucial position here. Has the opportunity to stop one from pushing up, then jumping out to hopefully go for a second. Oh. And it's 30 seconds no. fast as he misses the opportunity three times as he peeks over the railing. Eventually will get the kill onto Keenan, though. Brings it to a 2 for three. Oh. Beautiful shot <laughs> onto Slebin. Brings it back to equal numbers. Kendrew stuck behind the bomb chest. He takes care of the bulletproof, but knows there's a player he needs to deal with. Digs in behind needs to wait for the cover is savage ready that is going to be the big question kendrew's getting the plant down here he's likely to stick this the cover is in position renshiro he ducks he dives he's trying to find his man it's rafal who manages to get savage that's three on the round the spray comes in through the soft wall but kendrew he keeps on fighting he's able to use the keeper barricade does he see his man he oh. manages to get renshiro it's no. a 1v1 it's him oh. Oh. he goes big on the top floor <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy for Kendrew. He's had such a rough stage personally in terms of his statistics, but that is a massive, and I say massive, 1v2. It looks like it was going to fall apart for Secret there. They were in a 5v3 and they just kept losing lives, losing lives, losing lives. But Kendrew gets the plant down, manages to use the keeper barrier and his movement to his advantage, gets one kill and then cleans it up. All right, I think it's time to go to our sideline reporter, Fabian Halston. We're trying again. Can we get a word out of him? Just a single word? Didn't Rafael get that many kills in the rounds before, so they could have gone to the Major. There we go. Oh. He just spoke. <laughs> it's officially Pentacast now. we got all five people There we speak. go. <laughs> I, I dare say that may be the first in at least tier one siege. Uh, I think there's a reason why. <laughs> <laughs> when Nobody, he got that clutch, there was five voices going, oh! <laughs> Nobody has ever been as, I guess the word in Arabic is mukdam, because you've, no one has ever been uh, as avant-garde as needed to have a five-person cast. Thank you. Avant-garde does fit into that description, yes. But forward-thinking 
Indeed. I'm loving this, but BDS on the back foot. Honestly, Kendrew, if you know where he is or if you don't, the man somehow slithers on that floor and is always able to find some kills. Got Guys, you, you want to know what the best part about this game is? Come on. That after this game, I get to sleep, and then the day after that... Why did we even invite him to the I get to league? go home to Sweden again. <laughs> well... That is Just before you sleep, Fabian, part, 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 it's part. worth mentioning to everybody who's watching, make sure you stick around, because after this game, it's not the end. It's you not the end of the us. excitement. We've got the post desk, but we are also going to be drawing the groups for the major. So if you stick around, you'll get to be the first to see how those groups are going to shape up. You thought five of us was bad? Oh, wait until there are seven of us on are, this desk. Are we going to include everybody? Are the observers Everybody. coming in? Yes. Everybody is here. Yes. Amandez, while well, M is doing her own, she's being her own. Great for her. Derry, he's sailing as far away from us as possible. And speaking of sailing away, it's Savage that takes the hit from Renshiro. Another, though, the refrag. Kendrew keeping it up. 6-2 to two now on the Havana. Two minutes left on the clock here. Secret looking to find an entry here onto Bree Day, who's stuck in VIP, currently being pushed in by two different angles. One from the garage, one from the big window on the outside. Check it out on that pulse, giving away some information. We'll be providing some, sor uh, some sort of safety over towards Bridet. He knows exactly where he's currently being peeked from. And if Shaka's coming down to help, this might actually work into BDS's favor. Looking to push the bottom of white stairs now, Keenan. He's just giving it the jiggle peek. He's giving him the razzle dazzle, but there's nobody there to be razzled or dazzled. There's somebody on the brown stairs, though, that's going to hold on to that long angle, just going to prevent them pushing in. He's there to provide the protection to Breeder, who's trying to hold on to VIP. He's in behind the deployable shield, and that's something Team Secret are going to need to deal with. The four versus three here, so they've certainly got the manpower to do it. Slevin's juicing everybody up, and they're ready to go in, but they need to be careful about moving through that toxic smoke whilst the nanobots are acting because it will do more damage more quickly. Breeder, his shield is gone. Slepin's in a position to potentially challenge him here, but they need to deal with the other threats from Bar that are going to hold him off. 45 seconds, Shaiko looking to get aggressive. Shaiko going for a bit of a contest there. Oh. It's going to be taking some How? damage. So Ow. Ow. Lives oh, is he alive? I don't know, he's wearing like anti-shrapnel vests or something. It's the second time in a row. A grenade that should have killed him hasn't killed him, but these smoke canisters keeping Secret at bay might have just bought enough time right here for BD he has to actually win this round and turn it around. 24 seconds left to go, and the push has to come from Team Secret now. They're going to work in from bottom white. Keenan goes, saves, manages to get the kill. Kendrew at the same time. It is now one versus four. Shaiko gets kill number five of six. He's going to shut down Kendrew and push himself on into sight. Surely this no. is the round. That's the 100 for the stage. Potentially seventh in a row. Slevin shuts him down immediately. And that is going to be another round for Team Secret. It's 3-1 now. And BDS just look a little bit broken. I've got two observations. One, Secret have been super patient in their attacks. They're waiting for BDS to make mistakes and punishing them when they do. Getting into good man advantages and making use of every single second of time available to them. And two, once again, rolls for BDS. We've got Shaiko on a pulse. We've got a lens on a Malusi. It, it just, from the top line high level, does not make sense. You would want your best fragger, your aggressive player, on the best gun. Um, and unfortunately, obviously he is now on Malusi, but you know, in that particular strat, he was playing Pulse. The UMP famously not the best gun in the game. <laughs> not in your hands, maybe. I think if you quote that accurately, you're probably not going to because uh, we're casting. <laughs> oh, <probably laughs> we have one swear. I'll leave that up to Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> you know, That's... Ace, you said it was a one versus four in the middle of the round, but sometimes I'm looking at this game and I see Shaiko playing one versus nine. Oh, hey. Wow. His really team is not it. helping him. I mean, you know, headline statistics, you'd have to say, you know, it's very easy to talk kill death, right? But 0 4 2 3 1 4, it's not good enough for a team that is of BDS's quality that you come to expect from BDS. We expect them at every major winning. We expected them to win how many invitationals now? I'll tell you now, though, this is probably the best, uh, I guess, outcome for BDS. Maybe taking a step back and realizing, hey, we've had these issues, we've never been able to take a trophy. Maybe this is the one that kind of sets them all together. But 
maybe we're kind of stepping a bit too far ahead in this game. We're still in the first half. BDS, yes, they're down, but it's not over yet, of course. Three to one. They can still climb back and turn it into an even half. And they're doing the right set of work at this point. Trying to clear out this top floor. Look at Renshira, how incredible he's been. It's just setting up his barriers all over the place. Nobody can peek this man because no window can even look at him. Now, actually, uh, Tim, I just checked onto Shaka's statistics. I saw statistics. you squirreling through I, the I stars. I was going oh, back, I, I was going I back. I know you love your numbers. I could see you quickly racing through them. EUL 2020, stage two, is the first time he dropped 100 kills in a stage. Ever since, he dropped 100 every stage. This is his sixth in, this stage. in a row. Six yes. wow. in a row. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, all, all criticism or all issue aside with BDS, that's a phenomenal accomplishment. Uh, so congratulations to Shaka. That's absolutely unbelievable. It's not something that I think... I'd be surprised to see that matched or bettered. If, be he, if he gets 10 more kills, though, he is top fragger of the league. He's currently spoiled on 109, so that is going to be the next thing we'll, we can look toward if we want to. I'm not sure he's going to have enough rounds to get them at this rate. Who Dude, knows? Dude, roasting BDS, they're not even done with this I game. know. <laughs> I mean, they look kind of done. Well, <laughs> so, so looking at how BDS are playing, there's just something that's so... I don't know, there's something that's just not clicking. Oh, oh, it's, oh. oh. Clicks, though. Well, I, said, oh. I said a couple of rounds ago, they look broke. After yeah. after they know the mage is gone, it's like they've switched off a little bit. Like, this is, There's something that needs to be changed, either the approach to the game, how they think about it, or even maybe a player looking far into the transfer window that's coming up. There just needs to be some sort of change. What it is, I couldn't tell you, because obviously we have no insight into the French teams, as I don't speak much French. But We have someone who does, actually. Yeah, maybe so, but how much insights do you have, Gassan? I would assume... Unless this is France in 2018 Siege, then I can't really tell you much at it. And Keenan's trying his best to shut down whatever is left of this French team here. Five going up. He goes up against Rafale. Kendrew gets one at least of his own, getting control of the stairs. But Renshaw is just behind, goes in for the kill, gets it. 2v1 advantage for BDS. They can actually do it and get the round in this. And it's all on the saves. He spots one going into library, all on his own. And Shaiko swipes the head instantly. That is a book you might want to close in library, because that's why. <laughs> that, that's how it happens. <laughs> really appreciate it. I'm an amateur caster at this point, okay? Give Honestly, me this, I think this was the best idea we've ever had to just... <laughs> we should do this more. It cast. is not going too badly. No, it's definitely not. I mean, you Perfect know, fresh, the thing is, we're all on the studio. We can gesture to one another when we hand it off. So it's at least a little bit... That's the exactly. amazing thing so far, is that we haven't spoken over each exactly. other. Exactly. It's, 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 go it's going quite well. We the amazing to thing so <laughs> far is that we haven't spoken... No, don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we can talk at the same time as they are. Yeah, having double oh, we've just absolutely been ruined it. Now. <laughs> yeah, nice, exactly. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you're excited. G2 will go to the major, yeah? I don't really care too much about that. You're All right, I see. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. You're going home. Back to cold Sweden, yeah? Yeah, so it's so much better than Go eat place. some reindeer or something. Yeah, reindeer is amazing. Cool. There's no so good food in this country, I've noticed. <laughs> they even bought the toast all, today, didn't they? It's all self, just complaining about everything in life. There's nothing really that changed there. What is going on, though, is that 2-3 we're speaking of. Team Secret hunting for points, important points, in their fight against the relegation. That is coming down at the end of Stage 3. So with that, they look to pick up these points against BDS here. BDS, who have been beaten down a little bit, not being able to make that major anymore. You said it ever since that one round of Secret came in. It seemed like it was off. The pressure is off for BDS. They don't really have anything to play for anymore this stage. That's dangerous. Didn't they hear? Gonna open up the white red window and look to continue pressure and it's the book of saves who's doing the work out on the half roof there just looking to challenge and cut off any of those romans we are having more of a top-down approach this time around we didn't get it from team secret last time and they went pretty horizontally on their attack onto this site and relied on the kills shaiko's feeding the information oh, in. oh no it's a free oh. as easy oh. as that give him a just give him a sniff and he'll take it Realized he had the opportunity to toss it all the way up there. Finds that kill to save as well. There's the buck gone. That is a lot of verticality you no longer have control of. Of course, there is still Sledge, though. 
25 charges into the sledgehammer. In the meantime, it's going to be 22, though. Uh, but there's still going to be plenty uh, enough of charges to actually open up every single important bit of flooring to make sure these defenders are going to be feeling a bit uncomfortable. Beautiful rattle, rattle drones. They're just going to open up the side of the wall. Nitro is going to miss. You can't have them all at some point. And yes, with saves uh, taken away from Team Secret, you can't you, know, you can't really do the same um, level of uh, top floor horizontal, uh, or sorry, vertical destruction. In this case, we're just mixing up all the words for it. But there's one thing not to get mixed up with is that Secret still have a lot of time and they could use that to their advantage. But Shaiko's on the hunt. He's been spotted for a moment. But <laughs> unless you take him down, the man's always going to be able to perform. The thing is, though, right, he, he's, he's out and about. He's on that roam. They know he's still out there. They know he will come back to the side at some point, so they need to commit some of these resources towards him. And as he's just hanging around on these red stairs here, all the verticalities are being opened up. He is going to be denying those momentarily as he now heads down towards the actual site. Smoke canisters are being tossed down. Bree Day is receiving some pressure on the VIP area, but nothing really concrete as of yet. But Shanka coming into a good position now as well. It is actually Keenan oh, pushing in for the shield, gets him in the back of the head. Beautifully done here. Still another one for Keenan on to Bride to make it a 4v3, but the peak, Kendra Stamau is still alive. There's the flashes going through into the code check. No, flashed out completely. Diving right into it, it's Shaiko! He still wins it despite Ow. being flashed out. The man is an absolute machine. Might have saved the round for his teammates. Finally dying to Keenan. Full control now for Team Secret, but Renshiro is still alive. Reminder, Lems also is. And there's one more for Renshiro. It's all on Slub, and suddenly the advantage has slipped away. Team Secret with no time, and BDS bring it back at the half. One Hold thing Sorry. <laughs> it, it happens. One thing I will say for Secret is even though they lost that round, they're still doing so much more together. They're using the time effectively. They're playing a little bit together. A couple of gunfights go their way right in the end there. They go and win that round. And that's not something that could have been said about Secret two or three weeks ago. And that's the improvement. 3-3 free, free on the attack on Cafe is no bad feat, even against the BDS that look a little bit disjointed. I mean, they've given up. If, if you look at it from the perspective of being a player. Ever the optimist, Robin? It, it, <laughs> no, but, but they have. I know how it works. I would have done exactly the same thing, and any player in this league would have told you the same thing. You have one shot to make it to the Major. You messed that up. You're a little bit nervous because you have that one shot only. When you have messed it up, you know you can't make it any further, so you become slightly demotivated. It's quite natural in my mind, at least. I love that layup, though. The layup nitro from Shaiko is beautiful to see, wasn't it? I yeah. love to let them shoot in the barricade open for him. It was just such a nice little bit of teamwork, so they didn't have that obvious melee sound. It was just brilliant. It was. So you can see there is kind of those glimpses of teamwork, but a lot of it is built around, hey, Shaiko, you're doing something great for us in this round, and that's what's got to hurt. But now on the attack, that's the real test because you have a bit more flexibility. Maybe Alems can come into his own. Also, Renshiro's history on Cafe Dostoevsky is well known for being able to shut down rotations for defenders. This might be the half for BDS. Richard sure definitely having a lot of work to do though. The castle barricades being out, the hatches, hatches needing to be opened up. He's going to be using that sledgehammer quite a lot before he actually gets to try and get some of these frags out. So with that set, pressure starts to arise onto the objective. It's an M870 actually being used from Kendrew. And if I look at a position he's currently playing, that's not too odd. You're just playing on one of these hatches. Make sure you don't expose your feet and you take them out as they drop through. If my maths are correct, we need five more kills for Shaiko to be taking the uh, top kill spot in stage two. Um, and interestingly, he could well be in a position where he gets the most frags in this stage and doesn't go to the major. If he continues as he has been so far, it's likely that we'll see it. But we do see Shaiko quiet and down in the second half sometimes, or vice versa, have a quiet first half and pick up in the second. Sometimes he's all about defense, sometimes he's all about attack. We'll see if he can keep that momentum going at the minute. Rafal gets himself up to the rooftop. 1 minute 45. Um, and BDS need to think about getting themselves inside of the map sooner rather than later here. They want to start working on secrets, softening them up and displacing them. Shaiko, oh. he's going to do exactly yeah. that with a headshot onto Kendru. Nah, sorry, man. That's that's trying too much with the H coming at that point. <laughs> Put a lot of faith in that. Calling Shaiko a tryhard there, or is it the MHC? No, oh, Kendru. Oh, that's there try it is. Hard. <laughs> I think he's bloody tryhards ruining my UL games. I think he wants that top spot. 
It's like, no way that Spoy, this guy that literally just entered the European League, is going to be taking that top spot away from me. Shanku has been having it for so many of these stages already. Now, PDS have a two-minute advantage. They need to continue pushing on. There's a minute left on the clock. They've just spotted out two players a secret near the cocktail, near the planks area there, which means only one is currently unaccounted for. It's going to be Slab onto these white stairs. They will definitely be meeting him if they do decide to go through Pixel, but as they do know where these players are, you might just be able to go for a plant right behind on the very first opportunity where you find Shaka right now. He's going to be low health, juicing himself back up. 35 seconds left to go. As you say, BDS needs to be careful of the clock here. They don't want those seconds ticking away. Lems has an opportunity. Doesn't quite find the kill onto Keenan, who manages to scurry away and keep himself fighting for Surely another day. Not. But Ranshiro, he's going to find Savage. Can he find himself another Lems onto Sleb? And it's all up to Keenan. Low health and stuck in a corner right now. Breedy, he's going to start putting the diffuser down. It comes down to the fight with Lems. It's a flawless round for BDS as they manage to get something going on attack and they take themselves the lead for the first time since the first round. I've been a big fan of Team Zeker on what's been going on, but I was not a fan of that round. The fact that somebody's just been able to crouch walk up long bar in full view of a bulletproof camera with two people dead and get a kill, um, it's criminal, to be fair. Um, not a good round from Secret, though. I have to say, though, it's a good, it's a good round from Shaiko being able True. to find the very Try first hard. one. Try hard round, as some might say. The grenade kill onto the second bar as well. Suddenly, you have that two-minute advantage. And BDS used that well. They used their drones. They located the players. They knew exactly where all three of them were. And they managed to play into that information perfectly. Yes, of course, Bulletproof Cam should have been able to at least give the information out to the players of Secret. Unfortunately, it wasn't. And that only multiplied the advantages that BDS had. Shame, um, but it's it's a good kickoff for the for the second half. I was saying, you know, BDS yeah, it is. just look way for him. Once they hit that second half, they're gonna have that. It's not it's not about momentum in this case. It's more of they're the ones that can set the pace. And I don't think that's something BDS has ever lost the ability to set that pace. So here in the attack. I think they can keep on going. Their drones are doing well, they're getting the information, and they're at least allowing the proper players to get into the positions and capitalize on the information with those kills. It really seems like there's a conscious choice to facilitate Shaiko a little bit as well. I mean, why not? He's absolutely uh, fragging his heart out at the minute, finding himself on 13 and 4. It's an unreal performance from him, and it is largely keeping BDS in this. So why not play into that? Why not lean into it, get the drones in front of him, getting the information that he needs, just try to create those opportunities where he's going to go wild. Breedy is going to get the drone into the top floor, feeding that information in, as I've been saying, and Rafal's up there to support him as well. Well, interestingly, Saves was waiting around at the white door. I'm not sure if he's there waiting for a peek still. He is indeed, um, but I'm not sure his opportunity is going to come because BDS just not playing onto that side of the map so far. Full approved, taken out there. Quick opening onto the piano being made as well by BDS. They want to move quickly here, but have to be careful. Uh, there is a C4 in Kendrew's pocket. Same goes for Savage. So if they do decide to go for this top floor hold, they might just start to take a little bit of damage, maybe even some casualties with those nitros still in pocket. Now, airships have been deployed. However, mu jammers that are close to the windows will actually stop those from happening, which will mean that uh, BDS will have to work on clearing those if they want their flank watch to be intact, which literally just happened, as you saw it happen there. Looks like BDS are actually going for a half clear, which means they're not going to push through deep. You see Breed A just wants that hatch open. A half clear would involve basically just taking control of piano and then going for train. In the end, they do actually push deep. Um, the C4 could have gone off from Savage, but didn't in the end. So BDS have got full top floor control. Shaiko's lurking on this hatch. It's only going to be a few seconds until he explodes down it in typical Shaiko fashion. And if you're at home who didn't know you could do that, pre-place Nitro, if it's on a destructible surface, you can shoot the surface around it and it will fall down to the floor to be collected. Going to dump a nade down there, Shaiko, and you just know that he's poised, he's ready, he's waiting to pounce. He's just waiting for that moment. He'll juice up and out he will go, looking for more death and destruction. Right now, Team BDS seem a little bit disjointed. They sort of have players all over the place. They need to sort of thread this together into a coordinated push in these final 
final 30 seconds. Shaco has pretty much walked almost into sight here. He's next door in reading room. He gets himself the first onto Savage. Can't find the second. A saves is there with a trade. Kendrew onto Rafal. 20 seconds left to go. And they're getting nowhere near the mining room, which is the site in question. Kendrew onto a Lems Breeder. He manages for the trade. Three versus two. There's still a glimmer of hope for BDS, but Sleben, he starts shutting it down with that kill onto Breeder. It's all up to Ren Shiro. Shut down from the White Stairs. It saves with the final kill. And it's going to be Team Secret taking around and leveling us up 4 4. We keep equal for now. Team Secret is still fighting for their points here. They don't, they don't want to lose out. They smell an opportunity. A slightly demotivated BDS potentially that they're up against currently. Is that is that the kind of opportunity you need to grasp onto with both your hands, right? Like these are the games where you need to capitalize onto your opponents being maybe a bit weaker than they usually would be. Heading into the action phase, we go of round number nine. It's going to be reading this time, so we're on the same floor. We're on that middle level um, as Team Secret. Obviously feeling a lot of positives there mm. in their hold of top floor. As I said, BDS a little bit disjointed, didn't quite manage to coordinate into a push at the same time, and Secret were able to capitalise on that. So they're going to be looking for more of the same, just making it difficult on this top floor for BDS to break them down. Action phase starting very soon here. Bit of that top four control out here. How much is Team Secret going to be able to hold on to it? How much are they going to be investing into it? And when will they fall back? These are important questions for a site like this because often we do see a heavy emphasis for the attack up onto that top floor, but you don't really want to lose all your defensive members up on that floor itself when the site is one below. Coming with my uh, information that I have here, it's one thing you guys need to watch out for here is bathroom and stock being completely reinforced off. BDS only got Hibana, so they have to make a choice here. Do they want to go for top floor and clear that out? Or do they want to go for underneath and try to breach something there? They don't have many options. It's going to be super clear which strat they go for. If they take piano and stop there, well, it's going to be a one for dining, meeting, call it whatever you want. The one with the table at these fireplace. And if it's if they take take all of top floor, well, the attack is going to come on library. So it's going to be super obvious which attack goes down here. We'll see as the round progresses exactly where they are aiming to go into. Shaco for the time being looking to lock down Piano, which in either instance is going to be the first port of call. Get that done and decide from there exactly how deep into the map BDS want to go. Rafal relocating at the minute. Secret haven't as of yet actually been forced to move anywhere. Shaco potentially trying to nade out. He had the yellow ping onto white stairs, so they know that Savage is playing there. But with the Wamai Magnet in place, he was unable to get the explosives down there. Savage needs to be careful now because of course he doesn't have the same level of protection Shaiko manages to get one before being traded that leaves him on 15 kills equaling the top frag number for this stage of oh, 109 Keenan. with spite one more will grab it for him Keenan saves managing to get one apiece 2v2 as we come into the final one minute 20. Not much time left 80 seconds Fall able to find one of those jump outs there needs to well relocate together with the lems they need to try and go for a push together here because if they both go individually at these sites that probably will be picked apart now as uh, some of these holes are being patched up with the keeper barriers Slevin has one left and it seems like they want to go for a default plan behind the bootcase the proximity sensor though will be giving it away Keenan is stuck in deep will find the very first now Rafal finds himself in between these two angles Slevin will be able to get the final lockout and with that it's going to be secret that take the lead what a <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to steal this one from you, Jack. I say it's going to be clear which attack this is. <laughs> and then the only thing it ends up with, pew, 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 pew. Everybody's shooting each other. I was, no strat at all. <laughs> I was actually going to make the same point. And it's the way Secret have been playing recently. If you want to look to Secret's change in form, look to how they played that very first game against Heroic where they took the fight to Heroic. They've been doing it basically against every single team since that round. They didn't go and leave top floor. They kept fighting for it. You saw Savage's movement up white stairs, trying to push white hallway. Keenan flanking up red stairs before BDS could even get a foothold. Didn't even let them get to a point of attacking. Took the fight to them and won the round basically off the back of that. It, that can be looked at two ways though, because if we look at it, if they know that they're playing Hibana only, it can both be a smart thing because it's unexpected. And number two, it could also be a well, stupid thing because 
if you only have the Hibana, you're kind of limited is in it, your options. Is it not a page out of Rogue's book, though? Do stupid things, but do it together with confidence. But did they do it together? Yeah, but as Savage was pushing, Keenan's going up the stairs flanking. Sure. Someone else is taking... A save jumped out. <laughs> sure, but they're very spread out doing it. Sure. Had they all gone the different way. But they did way. it together. Yeah. <laughs> but, but we come back to them. Are we looking at the same sort of style from a team? I don't know if Seeker have the same... I, I don't think it's exactly a copy of Rogue, but I, I I do like what I'm seeing. They're taking the fight to BDS and they won because One of One thing is for certain, they're not just folding off and yeah, giving up. Yeah, exactly. That's the biggest difference, I think. We're getting roly polies, my dude. We're getting sense. I was actually going to say that right now. The sense is on the board. BDS have shown some around going on. some good like IDs with the sense. <laughs> Hasn't really been working <laughs> out every single time, but we might see something new appear right now. We all love to see a little bit of something new. Let's see uh, what Rafal can bring oh. to the board. Two minutes, 10 on the clock as we've got 50 seconds into things. BDS not established inside of the map just yet. Um, doing a lot of work on the drones. They're going to be sending the utility in. And the challenge ah. comes on the white stairs. Nade comes out. Keenan taking no damage. But the honor of Lems is going to take about 30 there and need to back away. Slebin just trying to hold on to bar for the time being. Attacking here, Team BDS onto Kitchen, of course. So they are looking... For that mid-floor control, Shaiko just lurking around the double doors of Bakery there, seeing if he can find his man, but saves. He looks alert, he looks aware of the danger potentially being posed. Just very quickly on the sense, Heroic used it really well to get rid of the VIP player when they played Cafe. And Secret just aren't playing a VIP player, so I think that's what the intention of the sense was, but Secret aren't playing there, so it's kind of negated. Now, Roly Poly is still being used at a light screen, whatever you want to call it. Impact, however, oh, to cancel oh, oh, Savage instantly. Oh, 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 flicking Sabla. onto LM, so it's deleting him out of that round, by the way. At the same time, Shaco just managed to become the top fragger of the European League, and it's going to be unable to be overtaken at the very same time. Slevin knows that someone is knocking on his front door here, digging himself in deep, close on the coat. Jack Wynn, though, is going to be able to provide a bit of a surprise for the rest of his team. 55 seconds left to go. Um, Secret just trying to hold on inside of sight at the minute. We've seen Kendra have a fantastic impact with the Okar drones um, over courses of many defences down here. Breeder is going to be putting that diffuser down. Is Kendra going to have any impact on it? No, he's not. The uh, Yokai stun comes in far too late. Doesn't have the opportunity and the retake is on, but kills keep on raining in. Shaiko with the latest on to Kendra. Two versus two. And Secret are in a difficult position now. They've got a Finker to fight against. Slebin comes around the corner. Keenan gets taken down by Breedy, and that leaves Slevin with it all to do in a 1v2. He's up against Shaiko right now, who's on 17 kills. Could be an 18th here if he's the one to find the angle. Breedy challenging as well, though, and Slevin doing everything he can to try and get himself back inside his side. Beautiful shot to start, but immediate trade from Shaiko. Well played, BDS, 5-5. Five, five. I'm going to pose another question now. What was the best of one kill record? Does anybody know? 48. I, know. I have no idea. 27. Okay, well, it's, it's still doable. I was close. <laughs> I mean, he's going to need overtime. He's going to need overtime, that's for sure. But he's currently on 18, so finding nine more kills in... in well, he's currently dropping like three per round, so he, he could get quite close. Look, modern problem problems require modern solutions. Shaiko wants more kills, but... Yana only has 20 rounds in the magazine if you're running the ARX. We doing, wait, hold up. Are we doing so like some do mathematical kind of... No, the math got... is pretty simple. Big gun, more bullets. Well, he's already playing the Finker. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> All he needs... He should be going Sophia. That's, oh, that's <laughs> true. Yes, yes, yes even finally. Flag. Finally, something that makes <laughs> sense on this. God damn it. I mean, but... you guys are rookies. All you need is five bullets. Okay. To be fair, I did I'm see. I'm sorry. P I do remember Pino winning a 1v5 with one bullet once. Yes, he did. But I am quite <laughs> sorry because you're the one sitting on the same desk as we are. So what are you to talk about five shots to win? Okay. Gasson, you're a silver. <laughs> no, I've never been in silver. No, because you've never made it that far. No, that's not true. That's just pure lies. Slander. Also, I'm suing you. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you said I was a silver. <laughs> You're insulting all silvers now. <laughs> you were insulting all of them, and I'm just insulting you. <laughs> I'm sorry. The only talent that can be in silver is Jacob. Don't forget Des. 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 Yeah. 
There you go. Keep it away from him. I'm just a host. I'm dumb anyways. It doesn't matter. I'm just a himbo. Here. When are you going to stop using that excuse? It's I, funny because it's I'm the dumb true. himbo that talks here. That's I see. You need to know. Anyways, on to our game again. There's the first kill, and it's Shiko down, which means, Hap... Oh, he definitely needs overtime now. If there you go. <laughs> There's numbers for you, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely became a lot harder now, but it's a good entry here for Secret. They find a very important player on the side of BDS, one that makes plays consistently. And with that, Team Secret are on for a potential map point situation where they could put themselves into six. Now, I know it's still early. There's a minute 45 left on the clock, but it's a big impact taking down Shaiko like that, especially because they lack grenades. They lack now uh, the extra gone six. They lack the heals that they wanted to use. They need to clear out quite a bunch of utility, and of course, they have three extra grenades left. It's still doable, but then you can't use them to actually get rid of players themselves. Well, the big question now is who's going to get the kills for BDS? You know, obviously, there's been a lot of focus on Shaco because of the numbers that he's putting up today, but the others, um, you know, yeah, it's difficult to find the kills when somebody's going to pick up 18 on your side, but when the opportunity's there, they've not always been finding oh. them. Ranchiro missing an opportunity there to take down the man underneath the skylight. Kendrew, he's going to be playing underneath. He's going to pre-place a Nitro there, and the opportunity might just come along if the call is made. He'll pull the trigger, and he could well get some joy as we're starting to stack up at the top of red now. Breeder taking a bit of damage. 50 seconds left to go. Rafal's going to wear a jab off. That's going to prevent Keenan's flank that he's been waiting for. So that's something that Team Secret might need to adjust for. Rafal definitely trying to get into the position here and this little bulletproof cam is going to be given away when that C4 needs to be pulled, when that needs to be called. 35 seconds. Rafal still aware of the fact that a flank could be coming on the way. So BDS still trying to find themselves a way in. Bulletproof Chem's being taken out by these grenades. Renshiro will find an entry, and that might be the difference maker here as he does go down by saves, though, trying to make an impact. 20 seconds left to go, and Secret just continue to hold on. Keenan does manage to have an impact, a big one at that on the flank. He gets himself a double breeder, and Rafal, it's all up to a lens. He's got about 15 HP left. One bullet is going to do the job here, and one bullet is going to be found by Kendrew and an SMG, and that is going to be Secret going on to map point six five. I'm going to channel my inner Des here. What a shagger Keenan is. Oh, no. Stop. What a Get flank. Out of Turn off. That Turn off his mic. No, I'm a big Turn Keenan fan. I'm a massive Keenan You're fan. You're a massive Des fan. What is no, that? and he's made a massive play there. But also, Secret have guaranteed themselves at least one point with the opportunity for all three. So let's just contextualize the standings for relegation. Na'Vi, 19 points. Pwned, 13 points. Secret, 16 points at a minimum. Points total here for Secret already is good, and they've got an opportunity for all three. Fantastic. My predictions are looking good as well. Um, I went for Ooh. Secret in them. I, I could well, I think, take the top spot for EUL Stage 2. Ooh, look I know. Here. I know. Uh, it'll be four out of five tonight if Secret can do this. I'm not saying I'm a biased caster, but come on, Secret. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just mind blown that they can flank so much in Cafe. With an Omad. Yeah. It's, it's kind of funny. Uh, I... they, had, they had the air jabs, they had Rafal watching it. And yet, Keenan is still able to come up and shoot down three players. It's like watching G2 from the first four players all over again. Minus the qualifying to a major. I was going to say, does that mean... Minus a competitive game. No, but that that's how their games were at the start True. of the stage. That's, I think, what he means. Ah. Yeah, sometimes it's difficult to win. No, I meant that this game's competitive. When G2 played at the start of the stage, it wasn't. Ah, yeah, fair. To be fair, they've qualified for the major, so who am I to speak? It, it, it's still kind of odd how they went from a 4% opportunity of qualifying being 0-4 down that was actually a perfect storm never Thank trust you. the full fat milk that's all i'm gonna say four percent is four percent right it's like it's possible <laughs> zero. No, nip qualified on five percent and g2 was like hold my beer yeah let well, <laughs> me do four well well another round bds looking to tie it up take it to overtime like hap basically kept on talking about all day all okay. night Mr. Shaiko over here is now looking to get as many kills as, I guess, I want to say humanly possible, but at this point, he's not even human. We're not really sure of that. Never really spoken to him, at least not on camera. There's the Russian. Wrencher is using the Rataro drone as his own personal drone. He gets two out of it. He gets the third one. They're all down. They can't even stop him with the nitros. The man is still alive. What? He gets a quad kill, and then there's no close to it. It's Keenan to finally shut him down, but... Hey, Shift W, Mouse 1 is all you need. Renshiro, it was a pyro main, is all you need to know. Guys, and this just proves to you, Silver, as I said. You can't sprint and shoot at the same time unless you're <laughs> cheating. <laughs> 
Maybe he is. How did, how did someone okay. check him, PC? <laughs> what? He it's not normal. Just, I, I adjusted <laughs> my headset. I took my eyes off the screen for about four seconds, and the round was done. <laughs> you know, it's, as Gaston said, he just walked in, shot, killed one. There you go. I still Perfect. don't know exactly how that happened. Is it, is it like what he he literally you just walked screen. Production, can we have a replay? <laughs> <laughs> all the kills, please. <laughs> I mean, we will be able to get them all in one replay, I think, because it was just one singular replay, replay the whole round. Ten done. seconds that everything. There will be an easier analysis for you on yep. your on your stream. Kill, track. kill, kill. Oh, done. yeah. Yeah, these are the rounds that really suck to analyze when you sit yeah. back and try to, like, okay, I'm going to dig deep into the exactly why this happened, why this maneuver, you know, was executed. And so you're like, well, you just had a drone in front of him and walked in and got kills because everybody else sucked. But that's why Siege is so beautiful, right? Because you've got the strategy and you've just got the FPS element. Sometimes it's the strategy that works. Sometimes it's click heads. And that's why you're beautiful, Jack. Thank you. There it is, the replay. The replay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There it is. Beautiful Bonk. from Chiro. Bonk. Dropping straight in there. Get in. Just shooting his things. He even tanked a, Did he just tank a Rooney yeah, gate he, as well? Yeah. 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 No bother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No bother, mate. No <laughs> a Nitro literally that. detonates behind him. Yeah, there you go. Excellent. I mean, cool guys. I, I think that no one Surya laser gate that wasn't taken out by the Retiro. I don't know how well, this nah, happened. This nah, is, get this me out. Here. But that, right. like, that Surya laser gate is the reason he died here and couldn't get an extra shot off. That, that Surya laser gate prevented the Renchiro Ace. So oh. shall we vote, since it's all four of us? Or all five of us, sorry. So we show, just Why vote it as an Ace. No. no. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> no. You guys don't know how to have fun. What is this? Again, we come back to these silver treads. I almost aced. <laughs> There's yeah. a Reddit thread. Gets four guys and calls it an almost Ace. <laughs> because it is an almost Ace. <laughs> Yeah, six, technically, six, I, almost, I almost won a world championship. Casters want to cast over here, guys. We have a game to cast. It's still an important game. Still, we're well, just the desk the ruining that cast. Yeah, <laughs> it's always the case. Three guys on the desk just ruining the day. Shaco's going to be pushing himself into top floor. Drones are raining out ahead of him. Something that BDS, you know, are usually very good at is that aggressive clearance, getting in there confidently, uh, working quickly, trying to find those roamers and get the kills. Oh. That's exactly what Shaco does. That's going to be the 20 kill um, barrier broken for the game. Fantastic headshot down at the top of Brian's stairs from underneath New Hatch. He's going to drop over the balcony as well and just continue this onslaught. Still insane house and 20 kills, and the game is still going on for BDS here. Lems is not going to be able to make the flick happen. Says will lock off that kill. Savage will find Shiko. Suddenly, Secret back in the driver's seat of this round here, especially with Bree Day also taking some small amounts of damage. Xcaro is being used to open up onto the cocktail balcony. There, Savage with a beautiful tap there Stop onto Rinshira's head. With that, two on four, Bree Day low, taken out now. Rafal, the last man standing, the diffuser dropped onto the ground. Team Secret could be on for another match point. Oh. Goes in, manages to get one, bringing it down to a 1v3. He's going to have to find a few more. He's got Diffuser in hand. Uh, that is at least a point to his credit. 55 seconds is another. He's got plenty of time here. I don't know how much information he's going to have ahead of him, though, given that there's only three drones out active in the map at the moment. Not sure about the man behind the soft wall. Kendry's got an opportunity here to potentially just keep blasting with the shotgun through and get the kill. He tries it, but Rafal manages to bring it back to a 1v2. Surely not have 30 seconds left to go. And no, it's going to be shut down by saves. I was going to say, Shadi, he's not going to be able to go for a bit of a clutch there. Too many players left standing uh, for him to actually make something happen there. And now Team Secret will be going over to the attack. Still match point in hand. A second point to be gained. Now a tactical timeout for Team Secret. And what can they possibly talk about now? How was the weather? I was just going to say exactly that. I wonder if... Yeah. Th these are our analysts. Well, the, uh, we had some really cool <laughs> frags. Analysis. Are you going to release a frag montage oh. about this game? Or, you know, that was just his the, the second thing that I th th this is a slight chance that they talk about which what 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 they're going to do next round. There's a slight chance of that too. Is that what teams talk about in timeouts? <laughs> it really depends. Sometimes you just need to talk about how your day has been and that's yeah, you just talk things through, you know. They can all see each other with the webcams, you know, so someone might say, oh, they yeah, can, Keenan, what a nice haircut you got. <laughs> you never know. And, and we were all wondering what went on in tactical timeouts. And yeah, now inside. you have the information. We've got the inside track now on exactly what it is, and it's, you know, Fabian, you've got a wonderful haircut. Thank you, thank you. Nobody said that to Fabian ever. <laughs> no, no, nobody has. Pink yet. 
I, uh, look, not, <laughs> so, no. actually, no, let's talk about this. If you're not going to go pink, what are you going to do? Because you've got to do a forfeit. I don't have to. Yes, you do. Now you can spank me when we get back to the hotel. I don't know. You like that stuff anyways. Right. Anyway, um, <laughs> Team Secret on change. match point. Now, we could just kick you for stage three. People... <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> See you later, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to go get changed. Make sure you turn your mic off if you go to the toilet, Fabian. I'm not going to go to the Because toilet. he actually went once and didn't turn off the... I'm going to go yeah, but he wasn't on camera. I wasn't, I wasn't live to... Can, ah, well. can I, can I ah, go well. grab my water bowl? Team Secret can close it out here 8-6 to six and actually upset everybody. And it's understandable. BDS are not playing at their best given the situation. But Fabian explained a few rounds ago. But still, it is about getting that win. For Secret, it'd be huge to get those two points. It helped them out a lot to come relegations in stage three. Look at that peak early on. Shaiko trying to find somebody here on the 20 kills. Can you find anyone? They know he's around here. They heard him opening up the window. It's just going to fall back. Nothing to be gathered in the early round. Nothing yet, at least. Savage propelling up right here. Electro Claw being set up as well at the very same time. So, BDS still doing some sort of setup. Righteous are being opened up. Use of the X-Car as well as the Sledge is available. We'll uh, leave them with a little bit less utility later on to get through the heart walls, but I'm pretty sure they'll manage. I think no matter what result this game gets to in the end, Secret should be happy about their overall performance. Yeah, I agree. Because My laptop just started speaking. <laughs> I don't Sentient! Did, Let's just move away from the laptop. Yeah, my laptop just started <laughs> speaking. Hi, I'm Cortana. All three of them have just run away from the laptop <laughs> that, in the studio. That thing is There's gonna actual fear going on there. This fear in the server has saves. He manages to shut down Revolve. Five versus four. We're losing it here. It's seven six as BDS are losing it as well. Sleven, he gets the kill onto Elems. It's five versus three now. It's Team Secret. They're flying towards the win. It could have been flawless, but Breed here, he gets one onto Keenan. It's four versus one. And Surely it's a matter of time, but we've seen Breed here do it before. No, That's 1v3, not. he's found himself too. We know he's a clutch master. Can he get another? He's low health, he swaps to the pistol. He gets shut down. And that is gonna be Team Secret taking the two points in overtime and the win over BDS. Two important points for Secret. And with that, they will find themselves in a little bit of a better position for the relegations at the end of the stage. Of course, this one didn't matter for them anymore in terms of SI points, in terms of making it to the major, but it did for other teams. BDS not making it, even though Renshiro dropped 12 kills. Shaiko dropped 20 kills. Not enough to win the game in the end right there. It's Massive, a decent performance. Decent performances from them, but Secret are victorious. Decent performance uh, from all of us. In the end, the viewers are victorious. They're the winners every single time. I mean, it's days since I dropped a 20 kill game, so, you know, got to say. There's only four rounds in ranked. Exactly. To be fair. Yeah, I know. It's, it's just pretty easy. impressive. That's then, why it's been it. days. Yeah. So it's just 4 0 wins, isn't it? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Every time. No problem. Are you still afraid of your laptop? <laughs> I think it might kill us. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Hi there. My name's Cortana. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> we all just ran away. Wrong game. <laughs> Wrong game. Spooky. She, she Spooky doesn't, stuff, honestly. Doesn't play Siege. Right. Probably not. Right. You know what? Yeah. We actually, uh, even though there is an analyst desk right there, is we're going to throw to a quick break <laughs> before we actually head to the analysis part. So see you soon. <laughs>